Hello again, everyone. Miss Tiffany here with another story for you. The book I chose today um, is written and illustrated by a person that adds a lot of detail to their pictures. Um, the title of this story is The Water Hole and the author and illustrator is Graeme Bass. And I see on the cover of this book, there's a lot of animals. And you might be familiar with his other book, Animalia, that also has a lot of animals in it. But this one's a little different. So we will read it together. The Water Hole. The Water Hole by Grain Base. Down to the secret water hole, the animals all come. As seasons bring forth drought and flood, they gather there as one. United in their common need, their numbers swell to ten. But hidden deep among the trees lie ten times that again. So Grain Base likes to hide things in his pictures. So if you happen to have one of his books at your house, give the pictures a really close look because there's lots of little hidden pictures inside of the pictures. One rhino drinking at the water hole, snort swash, mmm, delicious. Two tigers lapping at the water hole. Grr, goodness gracious, how very delectable. Three toucans squawking around the water hole. Ark, 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 it's party time, fellas, drink up. But something was happening. So this book is a little special. There's these holes in the pages. And if you notice, as you turn the page, the holes in the paper are making the puddle of the drinking hole change. Let's see what the next page will happen. Four snow leopards gazing at the water hole. Mm, we must be careful, brothers. The pool was getting smaller. Five moose wallowing in the water hole. Ooh, oh boy. Yay, get your hoof out of my ear. And smaller. Six catfish floundering in the water hole. Blum, 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 blum. And smaller. Seven pandas sipping at the water hole. Tisk, tisk, tisk. After you. No, no, I insist. Very polite pandas. Eight ladybugs meeting by the water hole. Bzzly. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I propose we establish a subcommittee to report on the water level crisis before the end of the fiscal year. All in favor, say bazoi. Oh no, look. It's just a teeny tiny little tiny puddle. Nine tortoises lumbering around the water hole. Scrumph, scrumph, scrumph. Okay, which one of you wise guys hit all the water? Ten kangaroos looking at the water hole. There was nothing to say. The water was all gone. Look at their faces. They do not look very happy. They look sad or worried. So all the animals went away. Look, there's nothing left. It's just dry, there's no leaves, there's no grass. Then a shadow fell across the sun. Clouds began to gather and a single drop of rain fell. You can see it splashing right on the ground. And it rained and rained and rained and rained and rained. I see grass is coming back. The flowers are starting to grow. 
there's almost like a rainbow kind of in the sky. And all the animals came back. Ooh la, ooh ya, wahoo, yippee. Oh, look at all those happy animals enjoying all their fresh, fresh water, huh? The end. So the last page of this book has a little bit of information about the animals in the book. So on each page of the book, the animals come from a different part of the world. So on the first page, those animals were from Africa. On the second page from India, South America, Himalayas, North America, rivers and streams, China, Europe, Galapagos Islands, and Australia. Pretty neat, huh? Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again next time. Bye.